Hello YouTube, welcome to part two of restoring the wagon wheel bench. Okay, here's our problem where we had the two boards. Okay, stuff gets caught in here. So this is all coming out of here. We're only gonna have braces this direction. We're gonna chop this out, probably use this just to reinforce these, okay? Then the other problem is in the back. We're gonna take this piece of angle iron, instead of trying to get it out and turn around, we're just gonna cut it off, slice out of here, and weld the piece the other way, so it's like if you flip the angle iron around, so it looks just like the front. So dirt and water can fall out. This is all made out of a junky bed frame. It could have been uh, one of those uh, hide-to-bed couches. Green, ugly color. Very hard to weld. This is welded with an old farm welder. It's nasty welds on it. I'll probably just use my stick welder, which would be easier. I can get out of the shop easier with it. So I'll just use my stick welder and patch it up and do what I gotta do. Here's your axle that holds the wheels. It's really flimsy without the wood on it. This is really nasty stuff to work with. This will crack. This is bed frame. Same as an old bed frame. You weld it and it'll crack right beside the weld. It is not good for structural stuff, but for a bench it's okay. So there we go. Give you a little look at what the frame looks like. And the boards, come over here, look through the viewfinder. Here's the boards, you can see how much rot's in them. Figure, 2013, that's 13 years, and set out the weld and had cheap varnish on it. It was not even varnished on the bottom. Uh, I think I just did the top of the wood, so. This will just be firewood. Uh, same as the bolts, uh, they're so rusted. The carriage bolts that they'll be replaced. These can be used on some other project. I'll save the good ones, throw the old ones in the garbage. So back over here with the swingy shaky cam. But there you go. Just another little update uh, on this little project. These are two by tens. They measure two by nine or inch half by nine. They're not ten. I'm sure it was a two by ten though, but it only measures actual nine inches. So. I'll be noting that before I go into the lumber company to buy any piece. They are a little under five foot, so I can have them cut them for me at five foot, bring them home and trim them up. That's probably the way I made it that way. Bring them home and do the final cut myself, because they may be hauled in the car. Our Cavalier will haul unbelievable stuff when you fold the seats now, so I can just take the car and run up to the Home Depot and grab some boards. So. Thanks for watching, we'll snap a couple photos.